Salutations, everyone. I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in which we are playing as a certain Republic of Reading. So we might stay as them the entire time, we might not. I'm joining with my cat, Binky, who's trying to leave my room, but we're going to leave historical AI focuses on just because, well, it's been a while since I've played in California using the Sweet Home California sub mod, but let us begin with the Republic of Reading. So, some mods that I'm using are, of course, the sub mod for Old World Blues, Sweet Home California. I'm using Old World Blues, Colored Buttons, Colored Events, State Transfer Tool Mod, as well as Player Led Pieces Conferences. Even though I should probably include the mod tool pack eventually, but we have Redding's Fall. For years, we had been strong, but suddenly we fell from grace. You cannot remove this debuff. Yeah, uh, some of these debuffs that we're about to get, like the game said, we cannot remove, which really sucks. You know what, if I have no more space, I'm going to build military factories instead, and then do that. There you go. Cool. Uh, we are currently civilized, very cool. And let's just do the normal old world blue stuff. Uh, we'll grab that, and then we'll grab some of that as well. We'll get some other stuff down there later on, once we can get everything researched. It looks like we have nothing available. Well, we're probably going to be shooting guns in this campaign, and then this is nice support equipment. Uh, we'll go down away first, why not? And we've... Oh, no ships. Okay. And what type of divisions? A ruby phalanx. Oh, I like that. That's actually not too bad. I'll gladly take that. Take low, go high, add three. Hopefully we can do fairly well for ourselves. And then we have a few divisions already in place. The Anti-Slavery Rangers, Edna Defense Force, Old Chico Defense Force, Redding, Redding, Ruby Phalanx. That's kind of cool. And Mad General, Mad Dog, Mattis. Huh. Huh. Okay, cool. The Fall of Redding. So we can't not remove the debuff that we currently kept. So we fought long and hard for independence from the Barons. And for years the Republic held. But a crisis unlike any other destroyed our mountain's infrastructure, killing our will to fight. And set the Republic to fall. Who is at the fault, though, for this? The president failed us, so we lose political power stability. The republic failed us, we lose monthly population and daily people support. Or the people have failed us. So we get less factory repair speed and 2% goods consumer factories. Um, Honestly, the way we're going to go, we don't really care about the people support. I care more probably about ruler. Yeah. I care about ruler support, so actually this wouldn't be bad. I don't want to lose monthly population, even though it's only 20%. Doing this, factory repair speed, I don't really care about at all. Consumer goods is only 2%, so we are not going to choose the president, the republic, the people failed us. Oh, this is a hard decision to make. I'm just going to go ahead with the people failed us. It's only 2%, so it could be worse. Ratings recovery. We are now on the slow road of recovering after the fatal collapse. Yes, very good, very good. And like normal, let's go ahead and get disable this, and maybe we get a general or two. General, James Sue. Let's find some more attack. Or Nicholas. More attack. More attack. He's got a lot of attack, so I'm going to go with Mr. Nicholas. General Nicholas. Awareness. Good. We're probably going to go conventional warfare. No, maybe not. Maybe not. We'll see what happens. I'm not really sure. So, the recovery period. Reading has begun to recover, and we have a, just, just to decide to fund the construction of factories for the people. What field shall we invest in? Civilian factories or military sector? Well, we can't really build too much more, so I'm going to go with the civilian sector so we can build this a little bit faster. Even roads are really nice to have, so Reading shame. No nation is without a shame, and yet ours is a beacon. And we cannot remove these debuffs. Oh, that does not sound good. Hey, we've got three more factories to work with. That'll be good. So we finally have our vices, and we all have our vices. Uh, we all do. Who cares about what other things? Reading is fine. Neglect the poor. Lives of decadence. We lose factories, multi-population, and even more multi-population. Okay, ratings rise, and ashes cannot contain an era of failure forever. One day, these ashes will birth a new nation, stronger and more fierce than ever before. We currently get 1.32 political power a day. Not bad, not great, but not bad. Ah, uh, so that we're, uh, we've recovered. Reading is recovered from the fall, and now we have the chance to expand our home partially. What shall we search for? Iron? Search for advanced machines to scrap? For rare metals, Reading has recovered from the something, or from the, probably from the mine. Uh, and now we have the chance to expand our home partially. What should we see? Oh, okay. Well, what do we need? We have no resources. <laughs> we have no resources. I mean, we're already using uh, scrap metal, so we have that and a little bit of water. The way we're going to go, it's always pretty hard to either get advanced components or composite materials. So I'm going to go with advanced machines to scrap. I think that'd be good to do. So now, we can do McGrew's death. Our leader's going to die. Not going to be good. Or he's going to get assassinated. 
We can increase the size of our army immediately, get more soft attack. And then more hard attack and breakthrough. And then more soft attack. Lessons of defense, it's not bad. Outposts, uh, get more population there. Land auction, land auction, triple land auction stuff. Lots of land auction. Rebuilding, let's go rebuilding Reading. So we kind of haven't bothered to rebuild our infrastructure since the collapse. Let's undo this, not doing, let's un, let, let's undo us not doing that, shall we? Let's, how about, fix our situation. There you go, nice and simple, right? Nice and simple, but that's okay. Uh, I really don't know I'm, I, what's going to happen. I'm assuming that we're going to get attacked by the Baron's Republic here, or we go to war with them. I think that's pretty much one of the main things here. So, oh, Raiders, that's always happens every game. They're going to die very soon. I have a couple of coffee here to keep us nice and warm. We have Anton Flynn. And it, I'll let you know, it is my goal to play as pretty much as pretty much everyone in Sh Old World Blues, Sweet Home California, not Shattered Wasteland, because that's out of date, but Sweet Home California. Those countries that have unique focus tree, I do plan on playing at least all of them once. I've already played with Boneyard, as well as Blackfoot and Fort Summers, but we'll see what happens, of course. Uh, new foundries, I'm going to grab some more our, mm, industry. industry. So, constructing new foundries. Our forges hunger for more metal. The time has come to expand the forges to get access to more metal, as well as scrap some of the older vehicles that will never be repaired. Good. Keep building up. Build, 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 build. We're going to probably go with three here and then one for that. Actually, you know what? You know what? Before anyone yells at me or tells me, just I just, I just go buy some guns. Could begin a scavenging program, but we're going to wait. Tool procurement. Nice. We're going to do work as needed. Uh, I love it when everything gets done at the same time. Get some more construction speed. Only 5%. That really sucks, but that's okay. Uh, Holy World Blues. You're, you're a little different than Kaiserreich and TNO and all those great mods. I love it. Love it. Love it. We could train, but I don't want to hurt my stockpile stuff so far. Oh, what do we have over here? Let's see. Caravan Guard, Division Defense, Score Territory, less damage to garrisons. Pretty generic stuff. Now, military theorists. I was thinking, we're, we're you know, a mining town. We control the trade routes up here in Northern California. We're pretty civilized. We're probably then going to go conventional warfare. But, if we take a moment to look at our focus tree, and I want to go down where the Iron Bearer takes the lead, or takes lead. I think it takes the lead, really. Set number of research slots to four. Now, we could have gotten corporate takeover, but I'm not a big corporate type of guy. I mean, sure, I have a YouTube channel, but whatever. Uh, let's see. We could go this way, maybe eventually, but I'm thinking we might want to get some stripped power armor here and there. And if we get stripped up power armor, hmm, I don't know. I do. Oh, I like seeing that. That's a. Hmm. You know what? I'm not going to make a decision. I'm going to let you guys decide. I want to use power armor, but I want to use infantry. Should we go with conventional warfare, or should we go with refined warfare, the other land auction, which it's actually probably been a while since I've actually taken this. What do you think is better for me right now? Or just throughout the campaign? I'll let you guys decide. Refined warfare or conventional warfare? In which, If we choose conventional warfare, I'll just go down trooper warfare because that makes sense, because I want to keep infantry because we actually get a lot of buffs for infantry. And of course, if I go down refined warfare, we go down flexibility of movement, we get more breakthrough. Flexibility of command is okay. You don't get the bonus if you don't put support, support companies on your power armor. Or just in general. The army gets it, but I'm not going to put support companies too many on my power armor. That's not bad, but then you get over here. You get more speed, which is kind of nice. And less organization loss. More special forces capacity multiplier. But I let you decide. Let's go ahead and work for the poor. We need to make jobs for the poor as they make up a fair chunk of the population. Making goods for others should do the trick. Should do it. No guarantee, though. No guarantee. Well, army staff, defender... Uh, Howard Asbeth probably be the dude we get. Caravan trader. That's not bad. Uh, economy and trade laws. You know what? What are we on right now? Waste on economy. It'll be immediately beneficial to do that guy. Just so things can get a little faster. Why is it armed lobbyist? 5%. 5%? This is so much better than to make Adam Adam Morgan than getting this guy. I don't like that. 15 per Oh my god. 15%. Oh, hello. Joel Giovanna. Hello there. Uh, person can be oh, I should have chose this one too. I love getting more stability and I love political power too much as well. Uh, yeah, I'll probably choose him next. More stability and then warmonger eventually. Always good stuff. But let's have a sip of coffee. Nice, good thing in running to keep us nice and warm. And once we build up this uh civilian this military factory, I almost always build civvies early on. But that's okay. Good, good, good. Let's see. What do we have here? Uh, seed selection. I want to. Oh, we already have crowd control. That's nice. So, yeah, we're not going to really use these, but we're, we'll have to get, research them eventually. Let's just do warrior training, and then maybe we'll get some gliders. 
Mm. Look at that. A whole seven. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. Oh, we got that done. Oh, I let time go on without even realizing it. So, civilian jobs. We must continue to expand the workforce. More workers in the work factories, producing toys and such for the children, or making tools for miners. Oh, that was my bad. I already... I should have realized that I uh, had time go on without me thinking about it. Oh, well, we got 10% more construction speed, which is nice. Construction basics. Oh, and I do know some people like to read. I forgot about that. Would like to read the description for all the technologies. My apologies. But we have wood woodworking next. And I wish I could speak without tripping over my own words at times. How long will this take? 90 days? That's three months? Yeah, we're definitely going to get this done first. Hey, look at that. Look at that. That's looking so much better than before. Oh. So much better. And now we have some civilian jobs. Arming the miners. Many creatures still lie underground, such as scorpions or other mutated monsters that are impossible to describe. We must arm our miners to ensure that they're safe and sound as they mine away. Well, as safe as they can be, possibly, you know. Person in the community? I like community persons. Sometimes. If they're nice. You know. How strong is this nation? The Baron's Republic. Huh. Not that strong. They have more factories than us, obviously. Boneyard. Hmm. I'll be honest, I've played as a Boneyard before, but I think they, do they, do you know if they got an update? Because I don't remember seeing that, and this is, looks like a, quite the updated tree compared to what, when I played as a Boneyard, so, Sweet Home California must have got an update, so this looks, this looks really, really awesome. We are America, stability, arm the miners, remember our past, restoring the city, looks pretty good to me. Unify the Giants, I think now, well I think usually, but... I might have to play the Boneyard again. Hmm, that's, that's, that's me looking a little different than what I remember. Now, we can get some stuff, but let's get armed and ready. We know conflict is coming. For now, we're the Northern Guard against the North. Okay, we must now move to arm um, our soldiers. Yes, our soldiers. I'm not going to put another one here because I want some support equipment, too. Put a two on there. Uh, so we got pipe guns. That's good. We can get rid of that for now. We need some crowd control gear eventually. I want to make sure we get some potentially field hospitals. By chem company. We don't need more divisions. Hey, I asked, or I said, and we shall receive. Great. Great, great, great. Infantry equipment now not looking so great, but whatever. Support company is slowly going up, and that's awesome. A little bit of lag, but whatever. Yeah, did something happen there? Improvised tools. <sighs> Gotta love that copy. Go ahead and not do that one. Let's grab some seed selection first. Oh, and we have another one too. Cool. Gliders. I like gliders. They can actually do stuff. That is definitely a glider. Wow. I've never actually opened this. Definitely from the 1900s. Definitely. Uh, we could get more stability. I don't really want to lose political power yet. I'm going to wait first. We could go down that way. I want to go with down here. So this way, when we need to, we can get at least one bonus for a land auction. I think that'd be good. So we should spare some of the miners to patrol the mountains while out they can find some deposits as a patrol. And you know what? I, I, I like being at peace, but let's just do that first and then do that too. Perhaps maybe we should have a little bit of a conflict in our lives. Oh yeah, we definitely need to have a little more conflict in our lives. It's going to take that long. The SSR declared one grabber territory. Very cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Probably take out Crescent Tribes first and try to core their territory. I don't believe that we get any sort of cores anywhere. Oh, yeah. We got some phalanx stuff. Nice. And they're still the normal uh, combat width. Yeah. Within our tree, I don't think we get anything down here. Compromise a new Reno because we want to go to war with Klamath and get cores on Klamath, which would be nice. Cores on Klamath, which is good and all, but a new age for Redding. Steaming on ahead. Request finding from the SSR. A scheme with a bear. We should have gone for the mines. Uh, core on Arroyo. Oh, we do get Crescent Tribes eventually. Union with Redding. Requires a union with that. Oh, okay. We get cores on them eventually. Hmm. Maybe we should stop justifying then. Regardless, lessons from the rebellion. We fought harder to free ourselves from the barons. And we must look back on how we did it and what we did and didn't work. Actually, let's go back over here. Because I might have chosen the wrong way to go. Because if we go with corporate takeover, you eventually get to go to war with New Reno. Oh, and we'll go against Crescent Tribes. 
Yeah, you get an annex war against Reno, forming the Brass Empire, which I've always wanted to do. As, you know, as long as I've known about this. Uh, that'd be nice. Let's come over here. Let's do some of that. Oh, and if you wanted to read about that. Oops, my bad. I cannot click on things right, right now. Secret language, there you go. Cool. All right, let's see what we got around here. Rough and ready. Just do that. It's always tried and true. It's always good to do. Oh, and let's go ahead and do... Begin a scavenging program, because I love scavenging. How strong is Reno right now? You know what? It might be best to just take him out now. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, my bad. I did not mean to do this. But it is what it is. Do we have enough political power? We do not. That sucks. That's fine. The good thing about Oral Blues is that, at least right now, it's so fast, or it can be compared to other mods, that it really doesn't matter if you, you know, have, you need to wait a long time, so... Workplaces. Oh, I know another one. Good. Let's see. We could do that. We're going to wait. Vehicles. I don't ever use vehicles that much. Hmm. It's still a little bit ahead of time. Let's grab this one then. Reference manuals. Lessons from the Rebellion. Uh, lessons of defense. Outposts. We probably want to get down there eventually. We get more manpower. New breakthrough tactics. Let's go lessons of defense. Learning to defend is one of the most important aspects of war. Go attack and defense on core territory. It's only 5%. But I'd rather have it than not have it. That'd be good. Hopefully we can go to war and do well against these guys. Defend well, fight well, and let's go and ruin our manpower. By ruin manpower, I mean just increase these guys' the size. And there you go. We need more manpower now. So because we chose this guy, economy trade laws, next up we're going to go with, well, at least funding the army. At the very least. 20% better construction costs to building stuff up would be nice. Using Getting more civilian factories to use would also be very nice. And eventually we need to change this to at least funded militias. At the very least. Like most campaigns, in the first episode of each campaign, I try to go to war with at least one person, but we'll see what happens. Preparing the soldiers. Uh, let's go with McGrew's death. Act 2, Brutus, the assassination of President McGrew. Uh, he looks kind of familiar. I don't know. Where is he from? Hmm. Hmm. Reference manuals, very cool. Secret languages, very good. Just going to grab this for resistors. It just gives you 2% more construction construction speed? No. Research speed. My words trip over themselves. Basic tools. Uh, do we need anything else? We could probably grab some multi-purpose equipment. It only takes a little bit more than a month to do, so that's not too bad. And then we're going to also grab some resource production so we get some more resources because eventually we're going to run out and we get more energy cell game per energy, which is very nice. How strong are these guys? These guys are just infantry. We have no... Land option. They do have some motorized, which means they probably have a little bit of armor on those guys, which means we got to be careful. And we'll talk about intelligence stuff later. You know, if you want to let me know already, what should we name our intelligence agency? We are Redding, the Republic of Redding currently. We are known as a gold mining town, at least we used to be. And we still might be. And we still mine. Maybe the Morning Star is here as well, I think. Is the Morning Star here? I, think, I thought it was. Well, it could be here, but we're going to get rid of some of the corporations. Um, so let me know. What do you think a good mining town name intelligence agency should be? But we have the assassination of President McGrew. He was found dead in his office surrounded by dead security. By dead security. Huh. Nothing points to the barons, but an iron coin and a pamphlet for the Morning Star Mining Corporation, which were found in his office. Oh, Kyle. Hello. Hello. Who are you, Kyle? But unfortunately, the Iron Bear, well, fortunately, the Iron Bear takes lead. The Iron will repair the hearts of man. Yes. Very much yes. Oh, we can go to Well-Equipped Army immediately. I love it. I, I'm glad we chose this. 25%, 25 less political power. And then the other guy, and then the trade laws would be 25 less. Maybe it wasn't worth getting him. He cost 100, but whatever. It is what it is. Go ahead and grab more construction or clay working. I enjoy clay working. There you go. Thank you. Can we build up the roads? Uh, we can build it up maybe a little bit better first. And then continue building up the roads. That wouldn't be too bad. You could probably buy more equipment. Oh, we can almost scavenge for more stuff. Yeah, let's go and buy some more infantry equipment. That'd be good. That's what we need. Ah, Reclamation Authority. The old world secrets shall be ours. That's interesting. We need at least 61 infantry equipment. Why is it 61? Why not like 60 or like 70 or 65? 61 is a very specific number. Hmm. And the Iron Bearer takes lead. 
Eliminate the corporate assets. That looks actually pretty good. More workshops. Funding research centers. I'm not really sure why it says set the number of research slots to four. We already have four, but we'll do this one. The Morning Star Mining Corporation company holds too much power. Time to bust the trusts. Cool. So we are autocratic. We have the Iron Bearer with a guy in his... Appears to be a shotgun. Well, maybe not as a shotgun. Maybe it's a rifle, but it looks like a shotgun. But very cool, very cool. Happy 2276, my friends. It's got a new year, new us, and we're going to figure out how to use basic tools. Very nice. Let's see. Oh, my goodness. That doesn't look very good. But we're getting some infantry equipment. Which, or infantry armor, I mean. Blackfoot? Blackfoot? It, okay, so I'm coming off of a campaign. The last campaign I did in Old World Blues was literally Blackfoot. They're a really fun nation to play as. Their focus is... Could do some work at the time of this recording, but, you know, that was a really fun nation to play as. And we're going to need to buy more guns. Can, can I get some more guns, please? Prioritize. Produce consumer goods. Weekly stability. Um, go ahead and hurt the research speed for now. It's fine. Limited corporate assets. Oh! Purchasing gunrunner backstock. Whoa, we lose caps. We don't have the caps for that, though. Maybe we want to get some strip power armor immediately. So let's fund research centers. Research centers are required for us to develop new equipment and technologies for our people. And we get 5% more research speed, which isn't bad. Sure, we already have four of these, but it still isn't bad. And because I don't want to deal with it, go ahead and put yourself right there. Very nice. All we're missing is more infantry equipment. If we can get power armor before... Oh man, these guys are looking kind of strong. Maybe going to war with them would be a mistake. But we're going to do it anyway. Smoke signals, I love it. This way, even though... Because we can't go through our focus tree because of the path we've chose. We can't go to war with New Reno normally, unless we manually justify it, which is fine with me. I don't really care. Um, so that's why we want to go to war with them. Instead of the Crescent Tribes, because we get a war goal against them later. Probably against the Barons Republic. Would like, maybe. Maybe we'll see what happens. I just want to make sure that we have a big enough industry. We'll be strong and powerful enough later on. That'll be good, even though we're running out of manpower, which is going to cost manpower to garrison areas. Ugh. And we only get 1.1 political power a day. Wow, that stability sucks. When it, oh, it's because the guy was assassinated. So, forging bearer arms. The Iron Bearer has offered his armor to be recreated, for the armor will soon be equipped in the Brass Legions. That sounds really awesome. Brass Legions? We will, we are already known as the Kingdom of Reading. Kingdom. Well, we'll become the Empire of Reading eventually soon enough, which would be a great thing. Mm, I do want to spend more political power to do this, but I might wait to get up to Wasteland Militias at the very least first. That might be for the best. Okay, build one more civilian factory. It'll only take you until June. Near the, by the end of June. If we can just defend against these guys, that'd be great, but we're not going to go to war until we get that power armor. At least one division. Uh, how much longer? We got like a month left. To get ourselves into some sort of major conflict. Well, good, good, good. Forging bearers arms. Heavy. Oh, look at that. Heavy armor. Oh, that's different. Armor hardening. Good. Ar armor for standards. So we get some more strip power armor. Armor for standards, which you get category infantry. Hardness goes up by 15% and armor 100%. For power armor, hardness goes up by 35%. 150% more armor. A division speed goes down by 10%. Division attack and defense require territory is 10%. And more max entrenchment plus 15. Ah, oh, yeah. The standard troops must be equipped with armor to ensure their survival. The Nation of Iron will hold. That seems really awesome, actually. Oh, we get four divisions. Hello there. That ain't bad. I kind of like that. And you should be led by... James who? He will do a great job learning as he goes. And we're going to go with... Oh, actually, I should have chosen Pain Train, but we'll get that later on. That's fine. It really doesn't matter. Just because I have the uh, motorized here, I'm a little concerned about it, so we're going to do that. Yeah, we definitely got to get more... <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely have to get more manpower. Holy cow. And so these divisions... So we have the Bronze Legion, who I haven't had combat with. You guys are your normal power armor, 10 combat width. Uh, can I actually edit this? Well, we can't put any more on because we don't have that many more divisions. But that's okay. Clay working, cool. Energy still game. We're gonna definitely need more energy where we're going because we need uh, yeah, we definitely need more energy. Yeah, that's not gonna be good. Oh, did I not do it correctly? There you go. That's a little better. All right, we can go to war if we want to. Armor for standards, great. Forming the Brass Empire. That might be good to do. We get pistols, which you could probably use. Klamath, we could go to war with. 
Forming the Brass Empire, New Age for Reading. Uh, preparing our traps? We could probably do that. We must fortify the border between us and the Barons, all while we're making it a zone of death for any of their forces. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm not too confident that we'll do extremely well, but... Personal slaves. Unique mercenaries. A queen. Bishops. Bishops. Four. Uh, they're definitely going down a certain path. But let's see what happens. Hopefully we can defend well enough. Uh, they're not attacking me. Hmm. Can you guys come here? You guys can. Well, we can't pierce each other. We can pierce the infantry, which is kind of nice. Uh, send half you guys down here, too. Let's see what happens. Throw them all in. Because this power armor... Its armor level is 20, which isn't bad. Let's take a look. So is that just... It is. They just changed this one. Heavy armor? <laughs> Scavenge PA. Because that's supposed to be stripped power armor. Uh, cool. High pressure hydraulics? Well, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can win here, because this is the greatest threat to us right now. So I'm kind of surprised they're not attacking us anywhere else, but that's okay. Or attacking us in period. Basic tools, very good, very good. Uh, let's see, what do we want? 2276. That's uh, a little bit too out of time for me. Let's grab some motorized flight. Motorized flight would be good. To do, and a research. Good. Let's go and do this. Well, thank you, Wasteland Militias. Uh, do we have any... We have no air bases either. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Smoke signals, good. Very good. Uh, decryption? Or decode signals? Yes, please. Did you have any other upgrades? Uh, yeah, you kind of did. Nerd Rage. Fight the power. Mm, I could have gone with that. Let's go with Smooth Talker and Negotiator. And how about Melee Hacker? Plant cultivation is always nice. Good. Good, good. Let's go over here and do some encoded signals. Great. More encryption. H clear war on those guys. And we're slowly losing. Hmm, that's not great. Hmm. Let's go and grab Reading Re Reservists. Reservists. Another man picks up the rifle. More manpower, more population. That's really why I want to go down this way. They threw in a lot of divisions down here. Wow. But it's giving us some army XP, it's giving us some more experience, which is always a good thing. I'm very surprised they're not attacking me anywhere else. Why not? And then maybe get some anti tank after this. That's what we're going to get next. Alright, so you learning stuff? Learning stuff? Learning stuff? No, that's okay. I wonder if I sent half you guys away, would they attack us here? Maybe. No, they're not attacking us at all. That's kind of disappointing, to be honest with you. Very disappointing. Uh, let's see. Let's grab some anti-tank, because we're going to need it right now. Anti-tank rifles, looking pretty good. Got some decode signals, very good. Could do some vacuum tube. Let's grab some... Healing powder. I think that'd be pretty good to do as well. She has got one tanker. Vagrants, cool. Any losses? Yeah, we've lost 23, they've lost nobody. Wow, this is a really bad idea then. Reading Reservists, good. Lessons of Offense, let's grab that. So, charge straight ahead into the lines, that'll work, right? That's kind of exactly what we're doing right now. Get a little more soft attack. Their infantry probably isn't feeling too good. Our infantry isn't feeling too good either. Hmm. That armor really sucks. But more divisions, though. Nice. Good. Are you learning anything, General? I hope you are. Because your infantry is not... Their organization for the infantry is not great. Let's go and grab some vacuum tubes. That'd be fine. Come on. Come on. Do something. Learn something. Hopefully, Nurino goes to war with someone else. The Roaring Bears. Huh. Well, then. Well, then. I was not planning on some... Wait, there's the Rangers. Shady Sands Republic. Oh, boy. This is definitely interesting. So we're fighting a whole bunch of people now. New Reno, Desert. What? what? Hmm. Well, whatever. As long as the Baron doesn't come here, we'll, we'll kind of be okay. I'll be totally fine with that. Hey, we've got more manpower too. Great. War propaganda. Uh, sure. Why not? We could probably use that. Let's grab some more supplies too. Lessons of offense. Good. New breakthrough tactics. Let's get even more hard attack and breakthrough. Oh yeah, that breakthrough. Oh yes, please. We must break through their lines. Wrong use of their. Wrong use of there by coordinating with those who sell the nation out. Absolutely. 
Okay, so it finally looks like we're actually pushing a little bit. Oh, scorpions are fighting them. Oh, cool. We lost 94 versus none. So be it so far. They're still in the battle, so that's why. After this, I definitely want to see how well they're doing. Please, power armor. Please learn something. On historical, I did not think that was going to happen. But then again, I don't play Sweet Home California on historical too often. And I wanted to take out New Reno before they got too far. Because New Reno can become very, very, very strong. Holy cow, they can become very strong if they choose to be. Alright, so, so far we're only missing infantry equipment. That is fine. Motorized flight is good. Even though we have no planes ourselves. That's okay. We're going to get some biplane fighters. Come on. Hey, we actually kicked the division out. Alright, that's 73. They're catching up in terms of losses. That's good, finally. New breakthrough tactics is definitely going to help out. But now... We're going to get forced concentration. We can push through parts of their line by concentrating our forces, giving us an advantage in conflicts. Even more soft attack. Uh, you guys go right there. That's fine. It's just going to take a while to do this. That's okay. We've got a little bit of time. We're only fighting the SSR, who they're just fighting the Scorpions. We're only fighting the Desert Rangers, who was birthed out of the corpse of the Grabber territory. But whatever. Mobilize the people. Excuse some patriotism. Very cool. Please, tell me someone's learning it right. No? I mean, it's only one battle. But you know what? I'm going to leave that here for today. Let me know in the comments below. What type of land auction should we, de should we use? Refined warfare? Conventional warfare? What should the name be of our intelligence agency? In which we are a gold mining town. But regardless, hope you enjoyed today's first episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow as we will beat up... New Reno. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.